Hi everyone, we're doing uh, another one of the vlogs today. We've come to the four waterfalls over in the Brecon Beacons. Thought we'd give you guys something uh, new to try out. And yeah, so let's go check it out, guys. So this path you see in front of you guys is one of two routes you can take towards the circular route of the four waterfalls. Uh, the lower down on the part of that field, there's a route which takes you along the riverside uh, to the end of the route. And then the path that we're on here is obviously the maintained flat graveled path. Obviously it's your preference which one you want to take, but they both loop around to each other if you want to experience both. You okay guys? You got the map, Millie? Yeah. Where are we going? Where are we going? The thing is that way. <laughs> that we can see on this route. Um, I think it's about three to four hours long, depending on if you do the, the complete circular loop. Obviously, if you want to just come and do one or two, then obviously it's shorter and you just kind of come back on yourself on the route that you've come. But yeah, obviously there's a path that goes from the main car park, about a 25 minute walk to get onto the actual circular route, um, which is obviously what we're walking on now. Okay, here's the first marker, marker 11. I'm not even going to pronounce those names of the what should we call it? Waterfalls. There's a waterfall, is there? we can cross over to get to that first waterfall we've just seen. Terrain in some places is quite strenuous. Just gotta be careful whilst walking. side of this waterfall which we were just over there that cliff over just there this is the actual waterfall Whoa. 
Managed to make it down right from the top to the bottom. is the trail back from that first waterfall we haven't done all four waterfalls today just because obviously it's about three four hours and we don't have three four hours today so we've done the the main big waterfall um, which obviously you've got the 25 minute walk there obviously the waterfall itself off the beaten track and then obviously this trail back we'll say I don't know if you can see just over there that's the trail we came towards the waterfall of the house, which is also 25 minutes, because these both on opposite side of this field come back to the same place where we started, where the car park is. Um, so yeah, obviously this route seems to be a little less gravelled because that one's a bit more maintained. So this one might be a bit more strenuous for people who struggle with their knees, etc. Um, but yeah, this is the way back. Oh, so this, you're a lot closer to the river which obviously actually feeds the waterfall on this side you can actually hear it from the top where the other trail heads towards the waterfall yeah this is a bit more scenic path and just there seems to have flattened down oh it's definitely harder than harder than going up the other way wasn't it yeah oh, seems like we got a little higher up from the uh, stream bed as well i don't know, I, don't know I spoke too soon we're dropping back down again oh. Just see over there, the car park hat, 
where we've got the map from, the upper trail, and then this one just here. We parked a little further up the hill, but that's where we started, so we are not far. We are almost back to the finish line. Or back to the start line, whichever way you want to look at it. But this path was definitely a bit more difficult, wasn't it, coming back? Rocky, ups and downs. There's no way you'd be able to get a buggy up through here. Oh look, Robin. Look at the Robin. Say hi, Robin. <laughs> so what have we got here, Millie? Is this a cave, is it? I think they said they recorded some series of Merlin in here. Oh, no. right, you've got to be careful on the edge. Yeah, because you fall in there, you're going to be taking a bath. A very cold bath. Wow, look at this. Oh, well, you just go down onto the ledges down there. Down here. Down here. Yes. And go that way and follow the route. You want to follow Daddy? Echo! Okay. Right. That's so dark. The only problem with this cave is this lovely steep walk back up. Okay guys, that's it for this uh, vlog of the Brecon Beacons four waterfalls. Unfortunately we only managed to get to the one waterfall due to time constraints, so we're hoping to get back at some point and show you the other three waterfalls. Hope you all enjoyed uh, what we showed you and showcased with the cave and the waterfall and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers guys, bye.